open world games have become a big fixture into the PS4's library, and in this video, we'll be taking a look at the top 10 upcoming PS4 open world games in 2017 and beyond. In this list, we'll be including exclusives as well as multi-platform titles, so with that being said, let's get right into this. Number 10, Wild. Wild is an open world survival adventure game set in the Neolithic period. It features a procedurally generated world, and your character has shaman-like powers and can control animals to change point of views and utilize different skills. A lot of parallels have been drawn to Far Cry Primal, but this does seem much more innovative. Wild doesn't have an exact release date yet, but hopefully we see it before the year's out. The bear is a powerful ally that will help me during challenging combats. It is also a very fast and friendly mount, which is quite handy to travel across the vast and seamless world of Wild. <laughs> Now that the area is safe. Number 9, Sniper Ghost Warrior 3. Sniper Ghost Warrior has been among the more underrated game series. It's been consistent, although nothing amazing. Sniper Ghost Warrior 3 is the latest in the franchise, and just like many games in this generation, it's taking a formerly linear franchise and dropping it into an explorable open world. So it'll be interesting to see how the game makes the transition over. With the open world comes many side quests and additional content outside of the main story. Sniper Ghost Warrior 3 will definitely be one of the under-the-radar open world games of the year, but it's one that has potential. It releases on April 25th. I can hear the lost cry. I can hear the truth happen, happen. Yeah, the shadows are calling us out. We are heroes, heroes in the dark. It's time when there is no light. Oh. Number 8, Agents of Mayhem. Agents of Mayhem is the latest game from Volition, the guys that are best known for Saints Row, and the game is actually set in the same universe, so expect the same zany, off-the-wall style of presentation. The game takes place in South Korea, and you control three agents at a time among a total of 12, each with their different playstyles and skills. It's a game with variety, and hopefully it delivers as a new IP. It has no exact release date, but it's expected to come before the end of the year. That's what I want to know. Now, you said it's about, like, you gather up agents. It's about making an agency. Yeah, you will uh, uh, you will unlock agents as you play through the game. Um, you convince them, like, hey, we yeah. got to join us. <laughs> we got free French you fries every day. Anybody. Everyone's like, yeah, mayhem? Yeah, I'm in. Oh, they want to be in. <laughs> oh, okay. This is okay. awesome. She's cool, man. Yeah, so that's Rama. She's our, uh, essentially, our, she acts as a sniper. And she has that bow, and, man, it's really great. It looks dude, super Dude, with a stocking cool. cap and the beard, this guy reminds me of the dude from Walking Dead. Yeah? Yeah, he does. <laughs> Tyrese, right? Uh, Hardtech's a personal favorite of mine, and of course he uh, he has a line in our in our announce trailer that has become a bit of a catchphrase. I won't repeat it. I'm and just watching. Oh, it. What? Watching. it looks so much You're fun. You're gonna tease us and not tell us what. Ahoy! It is. Ahoy! Number 7, Rhyme. Rhyme is a third-person adventure open-world game that has seen some development turmoil, but now seems to be moving along very smoothly. The art style is gorgeous, and comparisons have been drawn to games such as Journey and Wind Waker. The game itself revolves around a boy who needs to escape an island and a curse. Rhyme releases on May 26th.
Number 6, Kingdom Come Deliverance. Kingdom Come Deliverance is an open world RPG set in the medieval kingdom of Bohemia. It's a single player game with branching quest lines and a highly interactive world. The game features a classless system which will allow you to tailor your character exactly how you want to. Visually, it's also extremely impressive running on the CryEngine 3, let's just hope it runs smoothly on the PS4. Kingdom Come Deliverance releases sometime in 2017. Number 5, Days Gone. Days Gone is the latest game from Sony Ben Studio, the guys that are best known for Siphon Filter, and it's an open world action adventure survival horror game where you fight hordes upon hordes of zombies. Sounds a bit generic on the surface, but technically it's very impressive, hopefully the frame rate holds up, and that probably won't be an issue on the PS4 Pro. Days Gone doesn't have an exact release date yet, more likely than not it'll come late 2017 if not 2018. Number 4, Middle Earth Shadow of War. Middle Earth Shadow of Mordor was one of the great and defining games early on in this generation and now we have the sequel, Middle Earth Shadow of War. Shadow of War will continue the narrative from Mordor and will feature similar gameplay and design. It's an open world action RPG with a lot of content and obviously Shadow of War will be an expanded experience from Shadow of Mordor. The release of Shadow of War isn't that far out, it comes August 22nd. Will be to break through the main gate. Number 3, Mass Effect Andromeda. Mass Effect was one of the defining game series of last generation, and now after 5 years we finally have a new title, Mass Effect Andromeda. And while it isn't a massive open world experience, it does bring in many open world elements and puts much more emphasis on exploration compared to previous games. And with this featuring a brand new cast of characters, it won't be completely necessary to play the previous games, although it'll probably help. Mass Effect Andromeda's release is right around the corner, it comes March 21st. You're a friendly observer? Number 2, Spider-Man. There have been several good Spider-Man games, but in recent memory, nothing truly great to the level of, say, what Arkham did for Batman. Well, that may be changing with Spider-Man, being developed by Insomniac Games, one of the highly respected studios in the world responsible for games such as Ratchet and & Clank and Resistance. The game will be an action-adventure open-world title, and what we've seen thus far has looked outstanding from a technical perspective. It looks like the release for the game is still far out, we'll probably see it in 2018, but man, we can't wait.
Finally, number one, Red Dead Redemption 2. Red Dead Redemption was widely considered one of, if not the best games of last generation. It excelled in every area. The Western world was great, the story was gripping, the content was meaningful and abundant. So it goes without saying that everyone is excited for Red Dead Redemption 2. We still don't even know that much about the game, but based on what we've played in Redemption, that alone gets us amped to play the sequel. Red Dead Redemption 2 doesn't have an exact release date, but it is expected to come before the year's out. So that wraps up our countdown of the top 10 upcoming PS4 open world games. What do you think? Which PS4 open world games are you the most excited for? Did we miss a game? Comment your thoughts down below. Thank you for watching and goodbye.